CASP is structured, we have three program directors. Clancy and John split up the apartments, split up the That's help group homes, and Jen is in charge of the apartments. So John is an integral part of our organization. Hi, my name is John Tillishak and I am the program director of Class Home for the Westport Houses. Westport includes Weston and Wilton because that's on this end. My cohort, Clancy, is on the other side. She does Fairfield, Easton, Trumbull. And you are looking at our Kings Highway group home. This was actually the first group home class ever opened. Um, it has been, I think, around before me, but I'm going to say about 1984, give or take. These guys have New Year's parties. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. They have a Super Bowl party. Yeah. I'm sure there will what's the next party? Easter? Mm -hmm. There'll be something. There'll be something else, I'm sorry. The class <laughs> party of the year is the Christmas party here, right here yeah. where we have to overflow into the golf course parking lot because mm -hmm. there are so many people here. Um, these guys throw a nice party here. Yes, we do. They're very active. Well, actually, let's start down here. Okay, so what is it? Over we here. have two girls okay. and three men that you want to show us your The girls have their own little apartment. This is their own little setup. So, this is an apartment within the house. So this is an apartment within the within house. Within house. Okay, so, so they keep their own, the, the girls are here, their mm -hmm. own space, yep, which they is have awesome. They have their own little apartment. Mm -hmm. They have uh, their own bedrooms and then they share a bathroom. For sure. Uh, meals are generally upstairs where everybody kind of congregates together. The guys kind of hang out down here, so they're back and forth, but the girls have their own space. Okay. Um, very active house. Um, we have scheduled activities almost every day. Mm -hmm. Friday is our day to kind of freelance and decide what we're going to do. Okay. Anywhere from um, bowling to adult ed to swimming, uh, dinner and a movie, you name it. Wow. Sure a lot of them are with other um, other groups and they just, they typically a night is this one's going over here, this one's going over here. Okay. Yeah, so we're a very, very active house. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. So I'm going to show you one uh -huh. of the... This bedroom over here, this is Sherry, she's not Sherry. Sherry, she's not here today. Yeah, okay. Sherry, I like to show her bedroom because, and it's, it's, this is lived in. This is so cute, <laughs> look at this. This is lived in. She used to do Pegasus. Uh -huh. She's in love with Michael J. Fox. He actually autographed her. Oh, look at that. Um, lots of ribbons from Special Olympics and Pegasus. Oh, this is wonderful. Uh -huh. She loves this bowling. This is amazing. And this is, they How old is she? Sherry is 40. She's 40. No, 41. She'll be 42. 41. Almost my age. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Sherry and I met years ago at Staples High School. Uh -huh. I used to work with her back in the 80s. Yes. So for us, to, I've been here for, it'll be 18 years. Okay. In October. So I met her when she was in high school and then we reconnected, which is kind of awesome. So. Oh, this is amazing. This yeah. Is amazing. What are, look at all these trophies. Oh. It's unbelievable oh. the amount of trophies. Yeah, lots of them are bowling. Bowling. And then she has some ribbons and a Special Olympic and awards she got for Special Olympic Games this summer. Um, yeah, she's she's busy. In addition to all these activities, every almost everybody goes to work. They have a day job. Oh, they do actually yes. have to work. Yeah, these guys are actually just home for the day. This is an amazing thing because they're actually having an active life. They're Living. just going on normal like anyone else. Like anyone else, yeah. This is amazing. This mm -hmm. is such a good thing. Good for you. And it's I'm so nice. proud of you. <laughs> I, I wish and I, everyone of I you, wish of course. I could take credit for it, but it's more people like Monique's the manager of this house, and she's worked at class for so yeah, many yeah. years, mm -hmm. and she's raised her family pretty much on her yeah, own, yeah. in addition to working full time, but she's taken on the connection with her class family too. She's wonderful oh, with the client. Oh, you, but, thank you, you. but you have. You have to like what you do. Of course. You gotta love what you, you do. You have to love what you yeah. do. Yeah. Um, and I, I have to say that um, if nothing else, I've shown them that we are here to serve them. They know their rights. They have fun. And I teach them to be as independent as they possibly can with the help of the staff. You know, when we talk about funding, yes. briefly, it's like we are funded to provide meals for everybody. 
but it's, you're a chef, I would imagine you know. If you want fresh, it's more expensive. Correct. So, yeah, it's easy. If you want to give macaroni and cheese, that's cheap. It's totally But we try and do something a little healthy. So you got the Nutribullet over there, we have a nutritionist who comes by and helps work with us. It's more expensive. Of course. It is much, you know, you can get something frozen, that's cheap and it's filling, but okay. you're not on a healthy. But it's not necessarily have the nutritional value that you're looking for. Yeah. You have no. fresh so you have a lot of, you know, you have your, your fresh tomatoes in here. You have blueberries. You have a beautiful salad back there already set in case somebody wants a snack. You have your yogurt, lots of milk. Yes, we do. Look grapes, which I love grapes. And look at this, your veggies over here, very organized. I love it. <laughs> love it, guys. Absolutely love it. This is amazing. Better than my kitchen, trust me. In my own house, though. Yeah, and Tom has been here since... 91. 1991, yes. okay. So, like with a lot of our guys, people will move in, and you know, they'll have their family, they'll have a mom and dad, they'll have their siblings. Families grow older, move away. But he's been here but you know 25 what? years. Almost. 25 years, yeah. And I spoke so, to Patty Germany, yeah, she's going to say, he's got, this is we what he considers his This home. is all awesome. And that's organization. These guys are in the prime of life, for the most part. They're young, they're healthy, they're doing well. The next house we're going to go to is well, Western Road House, it's just across town. And one of the gentlemen there is a little closer to the later for portions of his life. Mm -hmm. uh, CLAF makes a commitment to people. Correct. We were one of the first agencies. It used to be, it takes something to permanent nursing. We don't do that. Because, I've been here since 1984. I mean, I have known this, I've known this man since before my son was born. So you know somebody for a long time. You get to know him, you get to care about him. You're not gonna do that. And one of the gentlemen, um, I just wanna, you know, we've had to make some adaptions to the house, put in a ramp. It's gonna be a little messy there because we have to rip out doors, make them big enough to get wheelchairs through. But we do what we have to do because we have made a commitment. We made a commitment to his family when they were around. We made a commitment to him and we've made just a moral commitment to take care of him the best we can for as long as we can. Now Peggy, like Monique, was raising a fam family simultaneously for mm -hmm. all these years that she's been working. At the here. same time. Yeah, At the course. same time. Yeah, I'm still doing it because I have my dad. Too. You have your what? I have my dad. He's 92. He'll be 93 tomorrow. Oh, wow. and at the same time doing this work. Oh, bless but you. You know what? It's okay. I love it. I'm serious. I love to see the guys evolve. That's really, wonderful. and learn. That's stuff. just amazing. So.